Hello, dear friends, my name is Dr. Igor Atabekov. I am clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today we are talking about um, medicinal mushrooms as an adjunctive treatment uh, to many health conditions. Uh, and uh, our plan is, uh, what are the contents of maitake mushroom? What is the impact on immunity of different, on different microorganisms, infections, on obesity, on diabetes? Uh, can it help with fatty liver disease, fat accumulation in the liver? Can it help to decrease cholesterol or triglycerides? Can it help with blood pressure, high blood pressure, I mean? Uh, what is the influence on microbiome and against cancer? Let's get started. So, main contents of maitake mushrooms are proteins, amino acids, carbohydrates, uh, dietary fiber, vitamin D2, some minerals like uh, potassium, like uh, phosphorus, calcium and magnesium. And they are low in calories. What is the difference between uh, fruiting bodies and mycelium? Mycelium is the white threads. It's a live organism. It's a mushroom that uh, during its living it produces different substances and uh, releases it outside uh, to the media which grew into the substrate. Uh, these substances are needed for mushroom health, for mushroom survival, for protection or for, for example, uh, tree on which it's growing. So it can help the tree, for example. All these substances can uh, also affect our body. What is fruiting body? Fruiting body is uh, what we think is the mushroom, a live mushroom. But in general, the fruiting body is just the organ of mushroom multiplication. Uh, here it produces spores so that will fly away and uh, it will spread, the mushroom will spread. Fruiting body has a lot of uh, heating or fibers and it also has these good substances. But for me, mycelium is better because it's a high concentration of these substances that we are interested in. If you compare the contents of carbs and fats and proteins in fruiting body and mycelium, you can see that fruiting body is very much high in carbs, but mycelium is much high in proteins and in fats. That is one more reason why I would choose mycelium over fruiting body, because if the patient is doing, for example, keto diet or trying to limit his carbs, for example, he has uh, some seizures or uh, problems with his neural system or maybe he's uh, uh, trying to treat his cancer to starve the tumor with uh, low sugar low carbs then uh, it can be also important and uh, if you did not see the video if you have some somebody you know who has cancer and uh, he's struggling trying to do chemotherapy or some other kind of treatments uh, i have a series of videos a playlist on metabolic mitochondrial theory of uh, cancer development and uh, approach, other approach to starve the tumor, try to mm, affect it with uh, free radicals, for example, more natural ways and uh, good adjuncts, uh, or I would say not even adjuncts, I would say it's basic things on which you can add something else, um, including sometimes chemotherapy. If you want to know more about contents of maitake mushroom, please, you can see this article here. But let's talk more about uh, biologically active substances and about uh, effects on the body. Most important active substances are, of course, polysaccharides and uh, beta-glucans that are very important immune modulatory molecules, also anti-cancer molecules. They have other effects, we will talk about them later. Also, they have, uh, maitake mushrooms have also um, bioactive proteins and peptides that also have a lot of effects on our body and some fatty substances, for example, ergosterol that can help with inflammation, with pain. We know that it blocks cyclooxygenase uh, enzyme, the same enzyme that uh, most of our over-the-counter drugs for pain and for fever block. So the effect will be similar. It will decrease inflammation, decrease pain and decrease fever. But we need to check it on humans, check the correct dosages, of course, because this is preclinical. Also, some substances have uh, 
antifungal effects. They are effective against some fungi, but not very effective against, for example, aspergillus, which is mold or candida. But it depends on the species of the mushroom and on the contents, because even maitake mushroom may have different species that will have different contents, and some may be really effective against aspergillus. But this one, especially they use not the complex, they use just, they take one, uh, one substance from the mushroom and try to use it. It's not very good, better to use complex. Next, let's talk a, a little bit about cancer and the use uh, against cancer. We see a lot of studies, it has anti-tumor activity against um, liver cancer, colon cancer, sarcoma and different other uh, tumors. These are preclinical. There was even meta-analysis done. Uh, that analyzed a lot of preclinical data and they showed that really maitake mushroom can help to improve anti-cancer immunity to mm, cause uh, apoptosis or self-killing of tumor cells, to protect uh, normal cells and to shrink the tumor and to increase the rate of remissions. Again, these are preclinical studies and uh, of course we need more um, studies on humans. There was a very old study done more than 20 years ago. There were 165 uh, cancer patients with advanced cancer. No treatment is already really working. And they tried to use this um, mushroom. And it was more effective against breast cancer, liver cancer, lung cancer, and less effective against leukemia, um, stomach cancer, or bone uh, tumors. Not very perfect uh, investigation, of course, but clinical data, unfortunately, is still lacking. There was other uh, clinical trial on the patients with uh, uh, different tumors of larynx or pharynx um, and um, they were undergoing chemo radiation therapy. This uh, type of treatment it causes a lot of side effects and bad complaints, a bit uh, symptoms of these patients, quality of life drops very uh, dramatically. But here we see that if you use uh, maitake mushrooms against placebo, uh, you can see that the quality of life was improving much better and they were restoring much better, less side effects. Uh, that's why uh, this is, can be really helpful as an adjunct to cancer treatment. Again, this should not be used in single agent. It should be used in complex. Maybe adding some metabolic mitochondrial approach. Again, watch the playlist. I will leave the link in the description. Next, uh, maitake has some antiviral effect, antibacterial, antiviral. Uh, it's, it was proved against HIV, it was proved against uh, herpes virus, and also if, uh, against uh, hepatitis B virus. Even on patients, patients with chronic hepatitis B, uh, when they used maitake mushroom, they uh, were cured from this infection more often. This is very important. I talked about it uh, also in other mushrooms like Tramitas or Reishi, these are very good antiviral mushrooms and uh, they also really helped. Can you imagine if you would do everything in complex? For example, mushrooms plus standard antiviral therapy. We can get really improved results. Next, good anti-diabetic effect. There are several mechanisms how it works in, against diabetes. Uh, first of all, it can help to uh, improve the release of insulin. Uh, second, it will decrease the insulin resistance. Third, it may help with um, influence to microbiome of uh, the guts that also can help with insulin resistance. And uh, fourth, uh, it can help to block the enzymes that will cut long carbs in the gut into smaller pieces to be absorbed. These long carbs cannot be absorbed and uh, the glucose will be absorbed much less. Uh, that are four mechanisms of anti-diabetic activity of maitake. Again, we need clinical trials on the patients. But again, there was a situation discussed uh, in uh, one of the articles when the patient was uh, taking, uh, I guess he was taking uh, some drugs against uh, diabetes, I don't remember which, or maybe he was even using insulin, and then he used also reishi and maitake, and his uh, bl blood glucose dropped uh, too much and he got into coma. That's why uh, these mushrooms seem to really work very well. Also, if we talk about fatty liver disease, we know that uh, there, there is also a nice experiment when mice were fed with the high fat, high carbs diet, they got enlargement of their livers, 
but those mice who were also uh, fed with maitake, their liver size and weight was like 50 to 70 percent less. Can you imagine that? So it's a protective effect, effect against uh, fat accumulation in the liver. Very good. Also, in the mice getting maitake, the levels of cholesterol in the stool was uh, almost two times higher. Uh, we know that cholesterol goes to bile, goes to the gut, and then it's reabsorbed from the gut again, and it's like circulates in the body. Uh, if uh, we want to get rid of cholesterol, we need to stop the circulation, stop this reabsorption, so the cholesterol will go out. And in this case, we can see that it was really going out. Again, need to be uh, better studied on humans. Also, there are studies that showed that maitake can help to decrease uh, elevated blood pressure in uh, rats or uh, be preventive, preventive against uh, these blood pressure elevations. But in uh, normal blood pressure, it doesn't decrease it more. I'm not surprised it has a lot of antioxidant effects. And then antioxidants can really protect us and decrease the risks of different chronic diseases, like, for example, atherosclerosis, like uh, heart problems, uh, strokes, and uh, diabetes, and uh, other things connected to free radicals. Also, I had a video before when I was talking about the uh, cancer risks. So we know that people who consume um, mushrooms like shiitake, maitake regularly in their life, they have less uh, risk of uh, developing cancer. And of course, in part, it can be explained by the influence on microflora, microbiome. Because microbiome is very important in regulating our immunity, uh, our liver function, our heart function, pancreatic, cancer, uh, pancreatic function, and even uh, mood. So, again, what are the effects of maitake? Of course, effect on the immune system, uh, fight against tumors, viruses, against uh, metabolic syndrome. It helps, as, it can help uh, potentially as a painkiller or anti-inflammatory remedy, and uh, it really gives energy. And uh, by what I hear from people who take maitake, it helps to lose weight. That's why, just uh, to remember, whom would you advise to take maitake? Of course, it's not a medical advice because we don't have enough data yet, but just by experience and just by what I told you in this video showing the articles, I can imagine the patient. It will be obese patient with a fatty liver, with high blood sugar, who has cancer also, and uh, of course uh, he has a uh, fatigue, lack of energy, and uh, he's uh, in general feeling sad. I would say this is the symbolic patient for my taki mushroom. Dear friends, that's all for today. I hope it was interesting for you. I would be very grateful if you support our channel by the, the link down below. And also, if you write any comment on your experience or on your thoughts, maybe your impressions on the video, maybe ask some questions or wish something good to the others. My name is Dr. Atabekov. See you in the next videos. Goodbye. Don't